Hey guys, how you doing? I'm gonna do a review today of the Waydo Fly One Plus Prop Upgrade Kit. I've seen a load of posts online, people asking about the kit. Is it better? Does it give me more battery life? Is it a better ride? So we're gonna have a look at how to install the kit today and we'll talk about my experience with the upgrade kit and what I think about the different props. the kit you get a couple of things you get two props you get the less than 90 kilograms and the bigger than 90 kilogram prop you get the new a new nose cone you get a slightly different um, rear tail mount and you get the smaller prop guard So let's talk about props. Um, so the original prop is an old design, it's old technology. Um, it pushes water, but it's pretty inefficient. It is much bigger. The benefit of this is when you're learning to ride as the prop comes out of the water, it uh, doesn't lose power so much. You can sort of skim across the top of the water and the board won't nose dive back down into the water. However, when you want to start moving to the next level and if you want to make your ride quieter, if you want to make it more efficient, get more time out on the water, it's good to upgrade to one of these. Now, as you can see here that this one, which is the less than 90 kilogram prop, is actually a bit smaller. Um, it doesn't push as much water. It is super quiet, but in uh, from the experiments that I've run, um, the different times that I've run it, I've found that this is actually uh, using more battery because I had to put the power up to level 14 to get me to the normal speeds that I ride whereas the bigger than 90 kilogram prop it came out of the water much easier it, um, it meant that I could ride with less power which gave me more time out in the water in fact it was about 20% more efficient than the original prop so What's the downside to this? Well, this prop, it does have a lot of torque. So if you're not good at controlling the board, probably not the best prop for you at this stage. Either start with the smaller one or just stick with the original until you're ready to move on to the next one. So I did a head-to-head -head trial between the three props and for my ride style and body weight, which is 88 kilograms, the plus 90 kilogram prop was the best performing prop. It gave me a longer ride time and a longer distance um, overall, and that was because I was using the lowest power setting on my hand controller. On the plus 90 kilogram prop, my power setting was about 10. On the less than 90 kilogram prop, it was somewhere around 13, 14. And on the original prop, I was having to use somewhere in the order of 16 to get the same performance. So installing the new prop is pretty straightforward. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Just make sure you've got all the right tools for the job. Otherwise it can become a little bit difficult in places and will take you a lot longer. If you want to see how to install the new prop, check out my other video, how to install a prop and learn a few tips and tricks. So all in all, what's my opinion about these new prop upgrade kits? I think they're really good. Um, they are quieter, they give you more ride time, um, and it, it just makes the, the ride, although initially a little bit more challenging, um, it's much better in the long run. Um, personally, I believe that the plus 90 kilogram prop is the prop that you should choose. Uh, it means that you can run the power at the lowest settings possible and get the longest ride possible. That said, you probably do have to be a intermediate rider to be able to get the full benefit of the 90 kilogram the above 90 kilogram prop and if you're less than that probably just start on the uh, less than 90 kilogram prop but uh thanks very much for checking us out and um we'll see you at the next video